Solve absolute inequality. I am Anil Kumar and in this example we will solve inequality where we have two different absolute functions. Let us learn how to do it. The question here is solve absolute value of x plus 4 greater than absolute value of x minus 2 where x belongs to real numbers. So first step always is to write absolute function as a combination of linear functions. So x plus 4 as you know can be written as absolute value can be written as positive value x plus 4 if x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 and negative of this if x plus 4 is less than 0 right. When we are saying uh, x plus 4 greater than 0 it means that x is greater than or equal to minus 4 and here it means that x is less than minus 4 correct. Now for the function which is absolute x minus 2 uh, that could be written as x minus 2 or minus of x minus 2 depending on what is x value if x value is greater than 2 since 2 makes it 0 we could straight away write like this right or when x is less than 2 it's good to take equal to sign over the positive value so that is how you can actually rewrite the absolute function but it also gives us one important condition that is we are actually looking into the x values which are in different intervals x values less than minus 4 between minus 4 and 2 and those which are greater than 2. So what we will do now is we will divide our page in these intervals right. So we will consider this equation in in three different intervals right. So the first one we are considering is from minus infinity to minus 4 and the second one is from minus 4 to 2 and the third one is from 2 to plus infinity correct so in these intervals we'll have modified form of equation we'll write now minus infinity to minus 4 means it is on the left side of this and this so both negative values will be taken correct so we'll replace this with negative of x plus 4 greater than negative of x minus 2. Correct? When we are talking about the interval between minus 4 and 2, in that case x plus 4 will be positive, right? It will be x plus 4. But this value will be negative. It will be negative of x minus 2. And when we are considering x values greater than 2, in that case both will be positive and so we can rewrite the inequality as x plus 4 greater than x minus 2 right and now we can solve each one of them individually correct now let's start from this side x plus 4 greater than x minus 2 now if you take away x from both the sides you get 4 is greater than minus 2 so that is always true correct 4 is greater than minus 2 it's always true that means for all the values for x which are greater than 2 it works right we can actually include 2 also here right let me include 2 in this particular case right if i write even 2 here then this is 0 so we can say greater than equal to, i mean i mean it's always true between this interval correct so the solution is we have already got one solution which is this. Now let us solve in this interval which is between minus 4 and 2. So what do we get? We get x plus 4 is greater than minus x plus 2. Bringing x to the left side we get x plus x is greater than bringing 4 to the other side 2 minus 4. That means 2x is greater than minus 2 or x is greater than minus 1 dividing by 2. Correct? 
correct so in this interval if x is greater than minus 1 then we have the solution now minus 1 is greater than minus 4 so that is a solution correct so this is also a solution solution here is that x should be greater than minus 1 well even if it is less than equal to even then it works right if it is minus 1 it will work so we'll see that portion later now let's look into the last part so what we can do here is let's open the bracket minus x minus 4 greater than minus x plus 2 when I bring this x on the left side so I get minus x plus x is greater than 2 plus 4 that is 0 is greater than 6 now that is not correct right so no solution correct so this one is not correct now we from these two get one solution and that is that the x value should be greater than minus 1 right for this inequality to exist or the solution of this inequality should be x greater than minus 1 so on a number line we can always draw the solution and that is since it is greater than we should not be including 0 right so anything to the right side of minus 1 will be a solution of this particular inequality correct and therefore we can write down our answer and our answer is x is greater than minus 1 is it okay so that is how we can solve it important thing to understand here is that you have to rewrite your absolute function as a combination of linear functions and then separately solve the inequalities i hope the steps are clear to you Thank you and all the best.